You might remember that last summer I made a video talking about Lego Star Wars The Rise of... S not The Rise of Skywalker. The Skywalker Saga uh, game coming out after its first trailer. Well, this New Year's we got a second trailer and there's been a bunch of new information about Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. And if you know me, you would know that I absolutely love Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga classic nostalgic one of the best video games of all time honestly perfectly executes all the star wars movies in lego form well the lucasfilm films at, at least but me just me and a lot of people have been looking forward to this remake apparently with the sequel trilogy added to it and I'm going to get into some of the new things, new information that we have gotten ever since the second trailer and all the little information. So this game is going to have 250 possibly more playable characters and I'm not going to speculate who there are, who they will be because there's already tons of videos on that but there are some videos where I actually hope that whatever that the characters that they do mention those videos will actually be playable and there i'm really hoping that there will be a dlc pack for this game so that you like for rogue one or something like that um there later on this year there's gonna be a lego mandalorian set with a code so you'll be able to play i think a mandalorian level in this game so uh, for the new Mandalorian TV show, Mandalorian will definitely be uh, something playable in this game, which I think is going to be pretty cool. And for the anthology film Solo and Rogue One, I don't really care if they don't manage to put Solo in there, but if they do, I'm sure it will be fun. And if they do put Solo, I'm really hoping they put Rogue One in there too, because I absolutely love Rogue One. Like, if they put the battle of scarif on there as a, as a dlc level i would really find that respectful and appreciative definitely something very welcome in my eyes but but i digress and before the second trailer a lot of people were hoping for grunts and moans or whatever for this game just like for the original games because and if you if you're aware of the lego games you might know that uh modern lego games unlike the earlier where it was grunts and coughs uh the newer games the modern lego games now have voice acting either voice acting or just dialogue recycled from the movies that the video game is based on which don't get me wrong i'm not i'm not dissing that at all view i'm totally fine with voice acting or recycled dialogue from the movie put into the video game that's based on the movie that doesn't mean that i hate grunts and coughs either it's just that you know it's always i just feel in my opinion i know a lot of people don't like the voice acting but to me the voice acting is a, is a step forward and a step in the right direction just so that for the game that the film that is based on the film or whatever it will connect you more to that film you love and it will bring it will just remind you of why and how much more you love that movie at least in my opinion with the second trailer it has been confirmed that there will be voice acting for this game with Billy D. Williams as Lando Calrissian that's all we know so far because it's shown in the trailer they told me they fixed it besides him there will be also uh voice there will be new voice actors for this game that are apparently playing the characters like and apparently these voice actors are like very similar to the ones uh in the movie like similar to the voice actors these voice actors are similar have similar voices to the actors of the movies which in my opinion i'm not exactly sure why they did this and i really hope that these voice actors give it their very best because like 
well yes some of the actors of the film will be returning for this game like like i said billy d williams i really would have just preferred if they would have just used the dialogue from the movie and put in this game like they did with previous lego games such as lord of the rings lego dimensions etc just because it would just remind you of how much you love those movies and make you love them more and this game because in my opinion it's just interesting looking at a lego minifigure that's supposed to resemble an actor and then you just hear the voice of that actor it's just so cool in my opinion that's the reason why i love uh these modern lego games that use recycled dialogue from the films now and i'm hoping that these new voice actors are able to capture that with this game these similar these voice actors with similar voices to the actors in the movie now this game i think it is going to be released june 26 on friday this year because these past few years you might notice that uh, tt games likes to release their games during june like with force awakens it was june 26 not june 26 june 28th so if not June, then definitely sometime during August or September, saying as that's when the new Mandalorian Lego set's coming out. So yeah, and not to mention, um, all, n all nine movies, there's gonna be five levels per movie, unlike the complete saga when, when it was, with that, when that game, it was six levels per movie. Now with this game, I'm really hoping that they are able to make the levels longer if they're gonna minus one level from each movie in my opinion and I'm really hoping that they're able to stretch out more I'm really hoping that they're able to execute more of the movie unlike uh, the complete saga where if you look at the levels of the prequel trilogy it really feel like there are pieces missing the levels missing and all that but with the original trilogy it just see it seemed all good all the levels were already there so overall i'm very curious to see how this game's gonna turn out and i'm expecting quite a lot as you can tell just because you know i really love lego games and i love lego star wars in general and star wars in general so anyway i'll see all my brothers next time